So here we have the AudioLine PT345. What I didn't mention on the servicing video is that uh, I did have to change capacitor. Oh, which capacitor is it? Um, I did have to change a capacitor in the um, phase lock loop section. It's the one which often fails, the 220 microfarad one, which is normally at 10 volts. We replace it with one at 16 volts. Well, until I put this video on, this was chatting away to itself nicely. So uh, they've disappeared off now. Let's see what we can find. And it's 10 o'clock on a Sunday evening, 35 miles away from the nearest town. Well, we'll do the one nine for a rig check and see what happens. What was that? One nine, Roger. Anybody out there? Yeah. Nineteen, and Roger. Anybody out there? Oh, the squash works nicely. I've uh, re restored the public address facility on this and I've checked that. Um, you've got the tone high and low button, I'll just drop the squash if you hear that. It's a bit bassy, which will make it less distinct. No, I've not, uh, I've not heard him, uh, that's with it in the out position. And that's with it in the in position, which is better to me anyway. So you've got on our volume. Squelch, mic gain, RF gain, tone high and low, public address or CB mode, power 4 watts or 0 0.4 of a watt. You've got headphone sockets on the back, you've got an extension speaker socket, the public address socket, external 12 volt input. And uh, it's got the nifty little uh, LED that changes to red for transmit. And that's it, the audio line 345.